Land is a source of life, food, security and wealth. People need effective laws and systems for land rights and security of tenure. But many people in the developing world are invisible to these laws and systems. Hii si ni maskota hapa. So tunakaa anga tukijua either tunakaa ama tunaweza toka wakati wote. So hii ina to prevent sana kufanya kunini kufanya development kwa ila. That's why napata tuko kwa hizi slums zinaitwa mabati apartment. Kwa mama mchoo tunasebo na jamu mu mwaka lukumbenda samu itano kugamba etaka lino lyange waliwo mulamu wange kuba tedidi seventh tuliku kundagane za fezi no ze bipapule za fe kati obo we buzibu we tulina conventional approaches for land registration the, the title system and the deed system these systems are, are very good but they're also exceptionally ex expensive most people in most countries can't afford to have these kind of systems we know that they only cover about 30% of most developing countries in other words 70% of the country is outside of the land system which means that people don't have tenure security it also means that uh, municipalities and governments can't manage the land. A staggering proportion of people in the world, more than 60% in sub-Saharan cities and towns, live without security of tenure. Women own less than 2 to 3% of the land. These problems are prevalent particularly in developing countries in Asia, Latin America and Africa. 70% of land parcels in the developing world are not covered by formally recognized land registration and information systems. This is a global crisis that needed a response at global, regional and country level. The Global Land Tool Network, GLTN, is an alliance of more than 60 global and regional partners working together for land and property rights for all. The network does this through the development, testing and application of pro-poor and gender responsive land tools and approaches. GLTN is the only group of people in the world who are trying to solve the problem of giving tenure security to the majority of people and to supply information data for management. And we came up with the concept of STDM. The Social Tenure Domain Model, STDM, is a pro-poor, gender-responsive and participatory land information system developed by GLTN. It has four interrelated components. One, a new way of thinking about land records. Two, a free and open source software package to record information about land. Three, an approach of collecting data about land. Four, a way of using and disseminating information about land. It takes too long and it's too expensive for everybody to have freehold title. It could take 600 years for a country for everybody to have freehold title. But we need in our generation to solve this problem. An important activity of GLTN is the establishment of a continuum of land rights rather than just focusing on individual land titling. Land rights are seen as lying on a continuum between informal and formal. In reality, these rights do not lie on a single line and they may overlap with each other. Any particular form on the continuum, such as individualized freehold rights, should not be seen as a preferred or ultimate form, but as one of a number of appropriate and legitimate forms, depending on their context. STDM is able to support the continuum of land rights. Because what the Continuum Land Rights does is it accepts everybody's different types of tenures and claims. Individual freehold rights 
are one person, one piece of land, one legal type, right. STDM is many types of rights, many types of people, many types of pieces of land described. Everybody can get some form of land documentation. Some of the key attributes of STDM are that it will be for free. Everybody can use it. The second thing is ordinary people can use the, the software. You don't have to have years of training. It's been designed so that it can be used by slum dwellers, but we also know that people in customary areas will be able to use it, and people will be able to think about new applications themselves. STDM ni na dedicate time yangu. Masaa mawili, matatu hivi, kila siku. Ukifika class 8 tumeza fanya STDM. Hata wale team tukonayo, si wengi wamefaliza form 4, but waneza form. STDM has been applied for purposes of facilitating spatial digital mapping and it has been used by the communities themselves to digitize housing units, their parcels of land and each of those units has been given an identification number and for that matter, they have an address. Settlement profile is very important because it, it gives us a basis where we can begin from as far as the uh, surveying is concerned. When we collect our data, we have five groups. That one which, uh, which does the numbering. Then we must have a group which does the enumeration. Then we have that one which does mapping. After, after getting this information, they enter this information into the database and after that we generate the reports. The moment we generate those reports, they are the ones which we use to share in settlement forums meetings and then the MDF meetings. That's when we, they are, the municipal council captures them and then they, they are incorporated into their five years development plan. In many countries it can take months and years before people can get title deeds. This is not acceptable, especially in urban areas where there's such a fast change uh, in, in land. The city manager doesn't know what is the situation in the city. He doesn't know how many people live there, where they're living. Uh, he can't cost recover for services, so he doesn't give them services. STDM is a, a tool to fill that gap. Previously, I think we have just been having uh, analog maps, and most of these maps are outdated. STDM uh, has made it possible to get current information, which is very useful for this planning. Initially, the information wasn't giving the real picture of uh, the slums. We didn't have enough for social services. As a result of this STDM, we have managed to, uh, to address our real problems which are affecting our informal settlement using our information. Now, we have a few events. We have a slum drawers where we have public toilet, we have a lot of water, 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 and we have a lot of Information is what? Is power. It's because of this information which we have. At times, the government doesn't have the information. So, uh, as a result, they must rely on our information, which we give them. So, SCDM strengthens the relationship between the people and the communities and the systems. So, everybody benefits the people and the information is available to government for their management of the city, of the, of the watersheds, of the agricultural areas. Your information is very vital because it's part of negotiation on this land. This land is a very important thing, but we have to go to this land. We have to develop a place where we have to go to this land. We have to go to the social amenities. This is the same thing. Kakili yetu, mawazo yetu, kila kitu yetu tumefanya nini?
tumeweka hapa trust as a ministry we are looking at this as a part of a of a bigger program of transforming settlements for the urban poor when this is scaled up and rolled out the slums uh, shall be a thing of the past because one is we're involving the communities themselves and number two we're using a, a, a more cost effective means of collecting information and updating it the fact that so many stakeholders are supporting the development of STDM including the surveyors in the form of the International Federation of Surveyors including the lawyers the International Union of Notaries municipalities already know that it works and because they have seen its success they have convinced government of its success we see so many people and so many organizations now supporting STDM and the continuum of land rights that my hope is that we will ultimately have such a momentum going that it will change the face of the world in terms of land access and land records <laughs>